Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Prochko from Miles and Indigo and I share videos about spirituality, goal setting, journaling, mental health awareness, and my story. And today we are in the Owls and Indigo office. I wanted to share with you how I set up my bullet journal as a content creator, as a blogger, and a YouTuber, and how I keep track of two businesses. <laughs> I have two businesses. One is Owls and Indigo and the other is a marketing consultancy that I share with my husband called My Pocket Market. This is my bullet journal and I like to set it up to keep on track of my tasks for both businesses and I have it kind of tandem and you'll see that uh, in the journal once we get into it. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my ideal week and daily flow, also how I set up my quarterly rocks and use the EOS system and traction by Gina Wickman. I'll leave the book link down below in the description. How I keep track of my goals for each quarter and break them down into smaller manageable things that I can do on a daily basis as work tasks. And then I also have something that is really unique. I have um, my content workflow here and some Dutch doors so I can check off multiple things for the different types of content that I do. And then also for the products in my shop so I can do some shop planning as well. So let's go ahead and get into my journal. So for my work bullet journal setup, I like to have a completely different section and I used to use a couple of different uh, notebooks for this, but this year I've got it all in one section. And this is my uh, work section in my bullet journal. My bullet journal looks like in the front and then I have a little cover page here that says work in a life you love. And I'm thinking about putting the logos of my two companies here, uh, Owls and Indigo, and then My Pocket Marketing, which is a marketing consultancy firm that I share with my husband. After the cover page, I have my ideal week and my daily flow. And today I wanted to show you how I set these two spreads up. So I'm starting with my key down below here. I have logic, creative, rest, front stage and backstage. Front stage is where you do the work where you're up on stage that you're getting paid to do and then backstage is the behind the scenes work like meeting prep and stuff like that. Then I've got the hours here, the days of the week, and then the type of work that I'm doing on each day. And I'm using an erasable pen here, that way I can change this later. I've got meetings, Owls and Indigo, design, work, learn, do, and rest. Now I'm color coding the days with lines that correspond with the key down below. So ideally, I'd like to start my day with my WSR, which is my work startup routine at 8.30, and then begin actually working at 9. And on Mondays, I've got meetings all day, and then I have filming on Tuesday, design on Wednesday, general work and writing and editing on Thursdays, and Fridays are my learning and prep days. I also ideally want to end my day with another WSR. This is a work shutdown ritual and then have an hour or two for personal time and dinner. Then on the weekends here, I have some chores and then just some other personal things. So after my ideal week and my daily flow, I have something from the EOS system in Traction uh, by Gina Wickman. These are the quarterly rocks for Owls and Indigo and the marketing company. If you have a company, then I highly recommend checking out the book Traction. I will leave it up on the screen here and link down below. Um, this is part of the EOS system and I absolutely love it. I have another video on uh, one of the components of the EOS system that I'll leave linked up here and down below as well. But this is part of the VTO, which is the Vision Traction Organizer from this system. 
So I have a side here for Owls and Indigo and a side here for My Pocket Marketing. And I have this little booklet, if you will, inside of my bullet journal. All I did was I cut away the pages on the outside to create a Dutch door within my bullet journal. So these pages were already here. They were full pages like this one and like this one. I just cut away the border of it. So it looked like a little mini notebook in here. So for this spread, I have the quarterly rocks for both businesses. And then I also have a section for the core values, the core focus, the proven process for each business, and then also the promise and commitment and three uniques of the businesses. Next, I have my one year initiatives for both companies. I'll have Alice and Indigo here and the marketing consulting firm on the other side. And then I have the quarterly rocks for Q1 for both businesses, Q2, Q3, Q4. And then in the very last page of this spread, I have the score for 2021. After you go through all of the quarters of the year, you tally up how you did on each of your quarterly rocks, and then you give yourself a percentage score, and then you check in and reflect on the learnings from the year on whether or not you overloaded yourself on the rocks, or if they weren't enough, or if they just weren't right for that time. So that's what this spread is going to be for. This spread is for my content workflow. This is more for the content creators that do videos and articles. So this could work if you're a blogger or if you're a YouTuber. So this is the section that was in one of my other notebooks. Uh, I had all of these things, all these tasks listed out in another notebook, and then I just checked them off for each uh, piece of content that I made. So I'm utilizing the Dutch doors again here with two thirds pages. All I did was I just cut away the top of the page on this section here. For my content workflow, I have a couple of different sections. I have a section here for my articles, my videos, my private monthly spirituality journaling prompts, which if you aren't subscribed, you definitely should. Uh, these are private monthly prompts that go out to your email. You can only get them from the email list. If you wanna see what some of the past prompts were that I shared publicly, which I do once a year, uh, I will leave that link down below and get on the tribe newsletter list so you can get access to these. Then I also have a section here for my uh, monthly bullet journal plan with me's. And then I have a couple of other pieces of pillar content that I'm deciding over here that I'm not sure on yet. And then I have an other section for the other videos that don't really fit into any of the other categories that I have. So whenever I do a article or a video, my workflow is kind of similar. So I went ahead and put them all into one section for both. Uh, and you'll see that on some of these that I've already started to fill in, I don't do every single line that's here because not all of them pertain to the piece of content that I was creating, but it's pretty similar, so I left it all in one. So for my content workflow, first I outline, then I film or draft, then I shoot B-roll, edit, I do a voiceover. I make sure that the opt-in promo is included as well. I add any overlays or titles. Then I have a section here to check whether it's a YouTube video, IGTV, or a story. And then I have a section for making sure that I have thumbnails, video cards, a unique description, hashtags, and then Right here, I have whether or not the video has been scheduled or a piece of content has been scheduled and published. Moving on to the next page, I've got shoot photos, edit photos, and then this whole section is for articles specifically. So sometimes I have videos that don't have an article and then videos that do have an article along with them, which is why I included this whole section here. So for an article draft, I've got a section there to mark that off. And then within that, I've got a section for links and for social. In the links, I have internal links, affiliate links, link the video to the article, and then link the article to the video. And then for social, I've got layout images, write statuses, create the UTM codes, have images for Instagram, a story video, a story image, 
a highlight and then Facebook, make sure I share it to Facebook and any specialized groups, and then make sure it's shared to Pinterest. And then I have a section here for scheduling them because sometimes I don't do it live. Sometimes I do schedule these things out just to make it easier on myself, especially since I run two businesses and also have household chores and just taking care of myself in general and then also maintaining relationships. It's a lot. So I like to utilize scheduling. And then after those scheduled social posts for the businesses go live, I like to share them to my personal Instagram and my personal Facebook. And after that, I've got a little section here for the newsletter and whether or not it is done. And on the next spread, I have something that I'm still kind of working on. This is my content workflow for the shop. Uh, I have ideas for products and I'm still coming up with the things that I want to do to see if the workflow actually works for me when I'm developing new products for the Owls and Indigo shop. If you haven't seen the Owls and Indigo shop, make sure you check it out. I have two products in there that are journals, They're super awesome and I would love for you to check them out. There's also winter items in there to keep you warm and cozy. There is a blanket, two mugs, and then six postcards, six postcards. Um, and I absolutely love all of them. So check them out. You'll definitely find something for you and for those that you love so you can stay connected even though we're all apart. The two journals that are available in my shop right now are A Year of Spiritual Growth and Mindful Goal Setting, 365 Mindfulness Journal Prompts by yours truly. This has been such a really great book. It is a nice, thick, hardbound book. And here's a peek into what the journal looks like. There's daily prompts and then morning and evening check-ins. There's also a mid-year review, quarterly reviews, and an end of the year review and a visualization on how to actualize your dream day and what it actually looks like when you achieve your goals at the end of the road. So I think you'll absolutely love this. Check this out in my store. Uh, I'll leave the links down below. And the second is my daily tarot journal. I'm very, very excited about this. This is my daily tarot journal uncovering the art of the one card tarot reading. Now this one is pretty unique. I teach you how to read tarot cards, how to get back on track if you miss a tarot card spread in your journal. And then in the journal, there is a monthly section for you to recreate your tarot card that you pulled every day for the month. This is based on one of my most popular bullet journal spreads that I absolutely love making. And this is what the spreads normally look like in my bullet journal right here. Since you all loved it so much, I wanted to create a journal that was specifically dedicated to the daily tarot draws so you could join in too. After that, there's a monthly log. And then beyond that, there is daily journaling prompts for each of the cards that you pull every day and then there's an end of the month review as well. So if you love tarot and if you want to start journaling you should definitely check out my second book The Daily Tarot Journal Uncovering the Art of the One Card Tarot Reading. So that is what I have going on in the shop and then this is the last work spread that I have in my bullet journal. Then beyond that we just hop into my monthly spread. So I use these spreads to help plan my workday and make sure I stay on top of my core values, core focus, and the things that make my businesses unique. And then the big projects for the quarters, which are quarterly rocks in the traction EOS system. All of this relates back to my weekly spreads, which you can see over here. I like to use um, purple for Owls and Indigo and then blue for the marketing business. And then I just schedule my week with all of those big tasks that I had that spring from those quarterly rocks and then all of those one year initiatives and core values focus and the promise and commitment and three uniques of each business over into my weekly spreads. And then to stay on top of all of these things and all the tasks that come out of all of that yearly planning, 
I have a rolling task log. So what I do here is I write down the task and then I have a due date and then a section for the day of the week, whether or not there's a Trello card attached to it, which is a task scheduling platform that I use. It's super cool. You should check it out. I'll have it linked down below how much time it will take and if it's a super duper important task. And so as my month goes on, these fill up and I usually color code them with purple or blue depending on the business. And then if at the end of the month I've discovered that things didn't get done, I reassess whether or not they are super important and I need to finish them up at the end of the month before I can move on or I move them forward with this little double arrow. So I'll just draw an arrow in this column here if I want to carry it forward into the next month. And that is how I set up my bullet journal for work. So that is how I set up my work from home journal to make sure that I stay on top of my task for two businesses and don't lose my mind. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you like it and share it with someone who works from home as well. Uh, a lot of us are working from home right now. That has become the new reality. And make sure you check out my two books, my daily tarot journal and my year of spiritual growth and mindful goal setting. Right now they are 25% off. I will leave the link down below in the description. I'm so grateful that you chose to spend your time here with me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.